What is up guys, just wanted to make this video real quick to go over a few of the Reddit posts that have been linked to me this morning multiple times regarding a possible Zhongli buff, as well as discuss the constant uprise of fake news that is going on in Genshin Impact. Now the reddit posts that were linked to me were these two here where this first person posted because they were unsure if this was an in-game bug or a buff that they had for Zhongli where their level 6 planet befall ended up having 4.5 second duration on their petrification which should not be the case. This should be a 3.6 second duration and this is a video as well as the other one so it is a little bit more convincing compared to an image but you should still definitely hold it with a grain of salt to the potentiality of it being fake. This second one here has planet befall being level one with the petrification being four seconds which shouldn't ever really be possible because at level one it's going to be 3.1 seconds even if you had constellation four it would be 5.1 seconds at the bare minimum obviously you could still doctor this four second by taking four seconds away from somewhere else and just slapping it here in the petrification duration portion now I did a little bit of snooping on the user of the first post and the only thing that seemed really sus to me was that the user posted the same thing over and over multiple times in the same subreddit until it took traction about the whole bug issue where you can see here they posted about like five to six times or something like that. Now this isn't a huge issue but this could either be taken in the way that this person wanted to get acknowledgement for the work they put into their doctoring or that they really did have this issue in game or they really legitimately thought it was a bug and wanted to get some sort of response from other people to find out exactly what was going on. Now the people that are replying to this video are basically saying that this could possibly be AB testing because not all players have this sort of buff in their game. And if you're not familiar with what AB testing is, it is basically a test where one group is going to be a control group where they have nothing changed to them and another group is going to have some changes dealt to them. So the people running the test can see if there are actually any significant changes being made when the changes to the test are done. Now another possible red flag is that this sample size of people who have this buff Zhongli seems to be extremely small where this reddit post of a thousand plus likes only seems to have one other person come up and say that they also have this buff state. One thing that does help me believe that this could be possibly a true testing is that you can see the person here in the video runs his cursor over the number multiple times. I'm not an expert at doctoring videos or pictures, but I would like to assume that running a cursor over an image would definitely make it a lot tougher to doctor that sort of thing. This, sort, this also happens with the other person over here where they run their cursor over the numbers multiple times as you can see here. Now if this testing is true, it does convert the petrification duration of a level 1 elemental burst skill from 3.1 seconds to 4 seconds. And then at level 6, it converts it all the way from 3.6 seconds to 4.5 seconds. And then at level 7, it changes from being 3.7 seconds into 5 seconds. That will be very, very helpful if this does end up being a true test. But keep in mind, just because a testing is being done, if this is true once again, I know it's going to get kind of annoying. This doesn't mean that they're going to push the exact same thing out. They could end up ultimately taking this test and being like, okay, well, this is not necessary and throw everything out the window and keep Zhongli as is, especially after their response that just came out. Originally, I wasn't going to make this video because it did seem really fake as well as it being too good to be true. But seeing how many upvotes it had, as well as going through some of the comments, I saw a lot of users reply something like this where they say, now I feel more like spending $100-ish more to get him to see one, or maybe if I'm lucky to see two. I don't want people to make impulse decisions based off of a leak or something that could possibly be untrue, where this guy might eventually end up pulling early before this sort of change even ever happens, if it does happen. And that kind of tangents over to my next point. There's a rampant uprise of fake leaks and fake news going on in Genshin Impact because it's a lot of fun to create a lot of stir and such for a lot of people. Such as this, where one of the Genshin Impact Twitter leakers, NepNep, posted a leak about a 1.2 artifact set here that kind of seemed good for Zhongli. So I took this tweet to some of my friends in 1.2 testing and asked them if this was real because they never told me anything about this sort of thing. And they basically told me that it's impossible to have Zhongli in 1.2 to testing so it confirms that this was super fake. NepNep eventually ended up deleting this tweet but it's just a little bit crazy such as something like this where NepNep posts that the four stars on the banner are Hu Tao and Rosario but they aren't even being tested in 1.2 so how 
could you really release a character that doesn't have any testing done at all or any sort of other images or play time shown? Even in their Twitter bio, they state, if the leak turns out to be false, I am not responsible. It kind of sucks if you post a lot of fake information to your 33.7 thousand followers because that's going to spread even further. Even Xenia, another famous Genshin Impact Twitter leaker, had posted a warning to the Genshin Impact community, don't believe everything you see online, a lot of misinformation spreading among the Genshin community. Where in this sort of image, I don't know if they made it or not or took it from somebody else, it's something where in the customer service reply, they ended up editing the message to change whatever was being said during this whole exchange. And this also leads me to this whole hacking fiasco because you can see here this post with nearly 2,000 upvotes on Reddit was deleted as well as the user who posted this was deleted. Probably because they ended up faking this whole hacking issue for themselves. This other one posted a response from MiHoYo basically stating that they got hacked but the person who hacked their account spent money on their account and so MiHoYo was saying they get to keep the account because they purchased something on it. And that caused a huge uproar of 21,000 likes. Discord staff apparently approached this person and asked them to live stream their account to the to live stream this customer service reply to them and they actually refused from what I've been told. I don't know if that's actually true or not, but it's what I'm hearing. This Reddit mod under the same post basically said that it's impossible to verify with the evidence we have now. Stuff like this is easily faked. It's a 50-50. They linked another post by the same person who had a longer video in a different format to kind of show uh, a little bit of an easier way to show their response to be harder to fake. Take it as you will if this is fake or true or not. I wouldn't be surprised of the response from MiHoYo to be honest if this was the case. Even YouTubers big and small are making videos on this whole hack hype train saying that they've been hacked or that there have been hacking attempts made on their account. Even on this comment here, it links to this video that says, I got hacked, Genshin Impact accounts not secure by this user here. But the only thing that has been done on this user's account was that their name was changed and that their description was changed to change your password. Is this real or is this a whole publicity stunt hoax? Who knows? But either way, MiHoYo does have an issue with security because there is no sort form of two-factor authentication to make sure that your account is secure. All you need is someone's username and their password. And there's a lot of people who use the same username and password for every sort of sign-up thing they do. Even when they sign up for sketchy, unknown scam sites where they have very weak cybersecurity or they just give away their login information to people who are willing to pay for it there's a huge database of login information from username email passwords out there and there are people who take those databases and apply it to a bot to log in over and over Genshin Impact is a big game of course you're gonna have hacking it's not like it's a big surprise that there are hacking attempts being made but to my knowledge no content creator who usually has their username or their email shown quite often especially on stream has been hacked yet once again, there may have been attempts done, but no one has been hacked because they probably have a lot more complex passwords or use different passwords for th things. So as a PSA, if you don't want to be hacked, don't sign up for weird things like freeskins.com, freeprimogems.com, or just make sure you use different passwords and use a program or an app to keep all your passwords safe. Now, if you are going to use a password safe, make sure that you do your research. Don't just use the first one that you find that's free. Go ask around or go do your own research to find one that's reliable. If you choose not to use one, that is completely fine as well. Just make sure you don't do anything weird like go on forum posts that go and say click this link to go make sure if you're hacked or not. Put in your log information here to go and see if you've been hacked. Put in your username or your email to go and see if you've been hacked. But I just want to bring this up because it's kind of ridiculous how many of these YouTubers are bringing up videos saying they got hacked. Which is probably not going to be the case and they're just riding the hype wave. This was a bit of a hefty video, so I do want to quickly summarize some of the main points that we discussed about. Firstly being that if this strongly buff testing does turn out to be true, don't make any rash decisions because even if it is true, Mioyo could always take this test and throw it out the window and say that Zhongli is completely fine. This could always turn out to be fake along with a lot of other things you see about Genshin Impact on the internet. Things can be easily doctored or edited these days with the technology that we have, as well as people can post something anonymously through a message board such as Reddit and delete their posts and delete their user later and nobody can ever really track who they were and hold them accountable. 
The post that was deleted was basically a post that was letting people know that you can easily change a customer service reply by changing the text through browser tools. So all in all, just don't believe everything you see, even if it's a 1.2 leak, 1.3 leak for artifacts or characters or buffs or changes. Don't make choices based on what you see until it comes directly out of MiHoYo's mouth because things may be fake or even if they're not fake, they could always be changed before it actually happens. And lastly, yes, hacking is an issue, but every big game does ha have issues with hacking. The only problem is MiHoYo has a very big lack of cybersecurity with two-factor authentication and various other things to log into your account for the first time. Let your voice be heard that MiHoYo does need to add these sorts of things and they probably will put them in. But also don't blow it out of proportion and say everyone's being hacked because there's a lot of people that aren't being hacked. I think it's just a small minority of people that have a strong voice. Change your password to be more complex. Don't use a password that you've used for everything, especially if you've been hacked previously with that password. Don't sign up for every website with the same exact login information. Even companies or websites that have strong cybersecurity occasionally have breaches to their database and have their information stolen. All right, that's gonna be all for this video. Please do consider leaving a like, comment down below if you think this Zhongli testing is actually real or fake, as well as if you have seen any other fake, current, or old news. And if you know of anyone personally that has been hacked, not attempted to be hacked, but actually been hacked in Genshin Impact. Subscribe for more Genshin related content. Join the Discord to be part of our Genshin Impact community. Follow me on Twitch to get some live streams of Genshin Impact for live tips and tricks, as well as follow my socials to get some quick leak and news information posted. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.